Hello, I'm Felicity. Do you sometimes need a bit of help? Maybe you've lost something and don't know where to find it. Well, that is the perfect time for a friend to step in. The duck in tonight's bedtime story needs some help too. He's in a bit of pickle about pasta. The story is called Spaghetti Hunters and it's by Morag Hood. Duck was looking for his spaghetti. It was not going well. Never fear, said Tiny Horse. For I am the greatest spaghetti hunter there's ever been and I shall save the day. Spaghetti is the trickiest of all the pastas, said Tiny Horse. It can be almost impossible to find. But I have all the things we need. The spaghetti will not escape us. And so the great spaghetti hunt began. It was a bit different to how Duck had imagined. I know what I'm doing, said Tiny Horse. But Duck couldn't find any spaghetti until... I have triumphed, said Tiny Horse. I present spaghetti. Duck did not remember spaghetti being quite so green or stringy. And he especially did not like the way it was hissing at him. None of these are spaghetti, said Duck. Not even close. This one is an earwig. I'm going back to my teapot. And Duck stomped off to find a book to read. Books are not as good as spaghetti, said Tiny Horse, who had come along even though no one had invited her. But this book was a bit different. Tiny Horse was not impressed. This is not standard spaghetti hunting equipment, she said. You can't just make spaghetti. It's much more complicated than that. Spaghetti, said Duck. It does look, taste and feel a bit like spaghetti, said Tiny Horse. Although perhaps it is a little dry. But never fear, said Tiny Horse, for I shall hunt down that most fearsome of beasts. Tomato sauce! <laughs> Tiny Horse is very eager, isn't she? And even though she doesn't always get things right, she's only trying to help. That is what good friends do. I'll be back soon for another bedtime story. But for now, why don't you curl up in your bed or teapot? and dream of slurping spaghetti. Good night. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.